and that was the scene near Westminster Abbey. But if you were on the front row or watching on television, you were treated to the sight of a family mourning the loss of a loved one, a nation mourning the loss of an icon. It featured all of the rich tradition you associate with the British royal family, splendid uniforms, Big Ben tolling in the background, and the raised catafalque atop a gun carriage with the imperial state crown. Why was it important for you to be here today, Amanda? To say goodbye to the Queen. She's been the Queen for most of, for most of um, Great Britain and the Commonwealth, the only Queen they've known. Um, she was so friendly and she had a lovely smile. Before the procession began, I spoke with a family from Swansea in Wales. They hopped in one of London's famous black cabs to find a good spot to watch the procession. I'm coming to see the procession of the Queen's Coffin. Because I feel like I'm living in a part of history that I'll never see again. Americans, too, wanted to witness a part of history that included the appearance of a new king. Angela Hofschild from Wisconsin just moved to London this week. In light of the Queen passing, unfortunately, um, we knew that the celebrations in the, in, of, of her life would be going on, so um, we wanted to just attend because it's a pretty incredible thing to be able to be here for a moment like this. So um, we wanted to pay our respects and make sure that we joined in with the rest of London for that. 